Hey guys, so I'm going to show you guys how I make my oatmeal. I showed it in what I eat in a day with gastroparesis, but that was a whole bunch of things that I ate that day. Today, I'm going to show you in detail how I make my oatmeal. My gastro warriors out there, if you're an apple lover, it is safe and it is okay for you to eat apples. However, the skin on the apple is not safe. I'm going to peel my, this is my pillar. I'm going to peel my apple and I'm going to caramelize my apples to make my oatmeal. My apple is now peeled. I'm going to dice it up while my pot heats up. I should be using a cutter board for this, but I'm not. I'm going to save a little bit of the apples for garnishes. See, my apples are all diced. I'm going to let that caramelize for a little bit. No, I did not put any butter inside of the pot. So that's going to caramelize for about five minutes. And then when the juices start to release, I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of salt to flavor the apples. You're probably like, why are you adding salt? Salt offsets the sweetness because I am using reduced sugar almond milk. And I like more of a savory oatmeal. Like I'm not a sweet type of person. And I also like my oatmeal chewy. So and cook it longer if you like your oatmeal more on the done side but me i like my oatmeal chewy now i'm going to add my cinnamon and a little bit of sea salt this is the almond milk that i use it is almond breeze reduced sugar vanilla reduced sugar before finding out about this i always use the regular almond milk and then one day she picked this up by an accident and I'm like ew vanilla almond milk so I'm like whatever I don't have no other milk to you so I use this one and now I love it so I picked it she picked this up by an accident and now it's a staple of mine it is 60 calories per serving for one cup is eight grams of carbs it is a little high in sugar for one cup. One cup is eight grams of sugar, but it's not too bad. And it's less than one gram of fiber. So, yeah. If you like your oatmeal thick, I would say use three quarters of a cup. If you like your oatmeal on a thin side, I would say maybe use a cup, a cup and a fourth. All, it all depends on you. I'm looking at this caramel dip on the side but i don't mm -mm. i'm gonna show you guys what it should look like once you add the milk it should look like this you see the apples so once the milk starts to simmer i'm going to add my instant oatmeal again i cannot stress this enough us with gastroparesis we cannot eat still cut oatmeal or any other oatmeals um instant oatmeal is the safest way to go if you like to eat oatmeal and i'm going to add just a drop of this vanilla just a drop because the milk already has vanilla flavor in it and i don't want it to be too vanilla -y. I'm going to try to upload two to three videos a week for you guys Two videos will most likely be um, like a story time, letting you guys know the ups and my downs and a lot of things that I've gone through that led up until now. And one video will most likely be a cooking video of me showing you guys what I cook, what I eat. Yeah, I'm going to be more consistent on YouTube. Ending of 2019. I set a goal that come 2020, I will be more consistent on YouTube. So, yeah. I have
have some videos scheduled to upload automatically because next Monday I'm starting back school and I'm going back to the gym. So I'm just recording a few videos to upload for you guys while I am unavailable. So you can still have something to watch of me. See my face. Oh, 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 oh. My milk is simmering. So what I'm going to do is put my oatmeal in the pot, turn it on low. In the meantime, I'm gonna go check my blood sugar, take my Domperidone, and let my oatmeal marinate. And again, I like my oatmeal chewy. My oatmeal is done and I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. Off the fire. That is how it looks. It is still chewy. I did not add any sugar. Put it inside of my cup. I like eating oatmeal out of a cup because I feel cozy and warm. And my blood sugar is still high, so my blood sugar only runs high on a consistent basis when my menstrual is coming. PMS. I need a, a nice thumbnail. Oh, it looks like poop. I don't know if this is gonna be a nice thumbnail. I might just Google a picture and say how I make my oatmeal. But this is not a cute thumbnail. Like tuna fish. I use avocado instead of mayonnaise, so I'll slice up the avocado and I'll mush it up and mix it with the tuna fish. However, it looks like poop. So I think what I'm gonna do from now on is slice the avocado and lay on top of the tuna with the tomato. And the other day I made pancakes from scratch. I didn't use Aunt Jemima's pancake mix. I made pancakes with bread flour, almond milk, an egg, and um, bacon powder or bacon soda. One of the bacon things I use, but if you guys want to see that video, just let me know in the comments and I will show you. Matter of fact, I'm just going to show you guys how I make it so you can see the breakfast options that you have if you do have gastroparesis and diabetes. So I'm going to go ahead and eat my oatmeal. This is how my oatmeal looks. Ouch, it's hot. This is how my oatmeal looks. Oh, this could be a thumbnail. I'm going to test it out, see how it is. <sighs> Chewing. That was quick, simple, and easy. You need instant oatmeal, almond milk, cinnamon, vanilla abstract, and a little salt for a more savory oatmeal. I did not add any sugar. The only sugar that is in the oatmeal is from the almond milk and the vanilla. And the apple so there's not much added sugar thank you for watching i think i said that already <laughs> like comment and subscribe to my channel guys i'll see you guys in my next video stay happy blessed and healthy